Hello everyone. Thank you for joining my presentation. Today I will be discussing our work on quality aware translation models, efficient generation and quality estimation in a single model. This research was conducted at Google. Let's start with some background. Neural mach machine translation or NMT typically uses a method called maximum a posteriori or MAP decoding. This method selects the translations that the model deems most probable given a source sentence. However, research has shown that this approach often results in misaligned probability distributions, leading to a mismatch between the probability of a hypothesis and human judgment. This misalignment means that the most probable translation according to the model is not always the best or most accurate translation. This leads to suboptimal translation quality. In the following, I will explore how we can improve translation quality by actually making NMT models quality aware. To address the limitations of MAP decoding, we look at minimum base risk or MBR decoding. Unlike MAP decoding, MBR decoding does not solely focus on the most probable translation. Instead, it is a self-consistency approach using a utility function U backed by a neural metric such as metric X. This utility function helps select translations that are more likely to be judged as higher quality by human standards. In MBR, a set of hypotheses Y is generated and the goal is it to select the one hypothesis which is most consistent with all other generated hypotheses in the pseudo-reference set, according to a utility function. While MBR decoding generally results in better translation quality, it comes with a significant drawback, namely high computational cost. The computational complexity of MBR decoding increases quadratically with the number of hypotheses, making it less practical for large-scale applications. This high cost is a major barrier to its widespread adoption. Tree re-ranking, on the other hand, is another method, which is a more efficient alternative. It involves two steps, generating a candidate list and assessing samples using a matrix QE model, and then selecting the top hypothesis based on the quality score. While more efficient, it is still it still requires an additional metric XQE model during decoding, adding computation time. Moving on to our proposed method. Our idea is it to move the quality awareness from the decoding phase to the training stage of the model itself. This enables the simultaneous prediction of translations and their corresponding quality scores using a single translation model. This approach eliminates the need for a separate QE model during decoding, as the model can estimate the quality of its own translations. However, sampling candidate lists for MBR decoding from a quality-aware translation model is more ef uh, effective, requiring a smaller candidate list size due to the high quality samples. We propose two approaches for our quality aware translation model, quality prediction and quality prompting. For quality prediction, the model is trained to predict both the translation and its quality score simultaneously. During training, we label each training example with a quality score. The model learns to predict this quality score along with translation. This method significantly enhances efficiency as it streamlines the translation process by eliminating the need for a separate quality estimation step. Essentially, the model becomes self-aware of the quality of its translations. Quality-aware prompting, on the other hand, involves adding quality tokens to the source sentence. These tokens act as prompts that guide the model towards generating translations of a speci uh, specified quality level. Quality prompting is even more efficient than quality prediction because we can directly prompt the model for high quality 
translations. Now, let's talk about our experimental setup. We use an encoder-decoder-based transformer architecture and trained our models on high resource language pairs, English to German, English to Japanese. For evaluation, we use several metrics, specifically comet, metric X, and human evaluations to ensure a comprehensive evaluation with respect to human judgment. Our first result shows that NMT models can in fact distinguish between the quality of their own outputs. The box plot here shows the distribution of ground truth scores across all samples assigned to each bin. We see that the median ground truth quality score increases steadily in line with the predicted bins. Sample, uh, samples with high ground truth scores are mainly assigned to the highest predicted bins by the mall and vice versa. This indicates that the system can accurately distinguish between good and bad translations. Next, we compare the performance of our proposed methods. Both quality aware methods outperform the baseline in our experiments. Our methods are close to or on par with Comet and Metric X. External query ranking which uses a separate metrics to eMAL during decoding. The proposed method achieves similar results compared to the external QE re-ranking, but without the need of calculating the metric X QE scores with an additional neural network. Lastly, we took a, lo a closer look at MBR decoding. In general, the performance of MBR decoding heavily depends on the size of the candidate list. Here we show that quality prediction and quality prompting consistently outperform the baseline approach across sample sizes. Notably, the baseline approach requires 50 candidates, resulting in 2,500 utility function computations to achieve the same results as our models with just five candidates. This represents a hundredfold reduction in computations, demonstrating the efficiency of our quality aware approach. To summarize, using a quality aware model instead of only a quality aware decoding process leads to efficiency improvements because no additional metric X um, QE model is required. Quality prompting is highly efficient, requiring no re-ranking at all. Quality prediction yields more diverse outputs and less literal translations. Moreover, the performance of MBR decoding can be dramatically increased without any additional computational cost, making it much more efficient up to two orders of magnitude. Thank you very much for taking the time and for listening to my presentation. And if you want, take a look into our paper.